Hello and welcome to podcast number two of Be Your Own Force of Nature. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, today is a beautiful day out. I, as I said, get up in the morning and I open my door if it's not too cold. Uh, my dog just got neutered, so he's being babied right now. And basically, it's in the door, out the door. He's wearing one of those collars to protect his incision site. Um, also had a mass removal on his bottom uh, that goes hand in hand with uh, his not being neutered until now. So there's a lot of uh, side effects, guys, to... Anyway, medicine has its place in modern society, okay, <laughs> in life. I mean, you can't use oils for everything, but uh, Keeper uh, is six years old, not being neutered because we had contemplated um, his having puppies at one day when I was back when I was married. And now that I am single and in the logical reality side of life, uh, seeing things really for what they are and in the best of things it's better to have him neutered and since he is six years old and it's been so long he had gotten a mass it goes hand in hand with not being neutered it's your body's way of rejecting itself when you don't use it you know for what it's intended anyway he was just in here and kind of sent me into a tailspin and uh <coughs> pardon me trying to think about what I'm going to talk about today um, in Being Your Own Force of Nature, podcast number two. Oh, okay, Being Your Own Force of Nature. Um, oh gosh, coming into... Mm, everything is aligning, basically at this time in my life. I am going to be 60 in April and I, I'm just coming to coming to terms with so many things in my life. Um, as I said, I, I was married to my former husband for, well, we were together for 35 years. That's a long time to be with a another person um and so along with maturing emotionally uh coming to terms with the fact that i am thinking for myself doing for myself and going forward in my life without holding on to bad things from the past and i say bad because there were after a while there were a lot of negative things that were you know built up and i've been dragging along with me and i'm finding even to this day i'm holding on to negative negative things um i'm doing my best because energetically, it's a time in my life where whatever I am putting out there, I am getting back. And people, that is something that you, it's very real. You must remember that not only with your words, your thoughts also contribute to your, your path, what your life is building. You are building your life every step of the way every moment, you know, every thought, every word, you know, every action, it's coming back to you. And so and that's why, you know, you hear all these things that you read, uh, all your spiritual pages and that what comes naturally, it's what do you want to be every day? You want to be happy. Uh, furthermore, when you're happy, you feel good or vice versa. You want to feel good and therefore you are happy when you feel good, right? You just say, um, in the words of Abraham Hicks, no matter what, find, no matter what you do, find any reason to be happy. Um, 
even when you're in a bad situation, what you deem to be bad, uncomfortable, things not going your way, things not working out for you the way you want for the day. And it all starts when you first wake up. Try as best you can to not pick up your phone and look at it, but if you do use it as an alarm, you must turn that phone off and lay it down, but try not to pick it up and look at it. Um, <clears throat> also, another thing is kind of like I'm doing right now, winging it. Uh, I think I disagree with people who say, oh, well, how I set my topic is I go on to my Instagram or, or my Facebook or whatever you use, whatever medium you use to express yourself, I don't believe in going on and seeing what the flavor is out there, what's going on. I believe in going by what's in your heart when you get up and you start talking. Whatever, whatever is coming from your heart is where you start. I do not believe in talking about, okay, how are my people feeling today? Let's just go off of all that. I disagree with that. I feel you are more successful when you fly by, I don't want to say, I should say, I want to say flying by the seat of your pants, man. What is in your heart? What, what are you feeling right here and right now? And uh, as I said, my dog right now has been neutered. I'm taking care of him. I've got my little dog <laughs> who is terrified of Keeper who comes through with that cone on. And he's bumping and banging into things. And Eddie is not happy with that. Um, but anyway, as I was talking about, and this is opening up so many things in my head from what I'm talking about flying from the seat of my pants, is my 35-year-long relationship with this person. Um, since I have been divorced, my divorce was final in November of 2016. Uh, I have grown by leaps and bounds. I, I just feel myself. Um, when I look at things, uh, when I I don't watch TV anymore unless I can help it. And when I do, I'll watch Seinfeld. That man was brilliant. He's made a Seinfeld moment out of everything in life. If you can't laugh at yourself, you better learn. You're, you're better off laughing at yourself. Your life, you're going to live longer. Your life is going to be better. And I crown that man for that. He is amazing. And he is famous for a reason. <laughs> he cornered the market on uh, laughing at yourself and uh, making funny out of uh, us stupid humans because we can sure be stupid. <laughs> anyway, um, so when I turn on my TV, I, that's what I like to look at. Or I turn on fireplace. If I'm up, sometimes I get up at four like I did this morning or I get up at five because I, my kids and I live together and we're roommates. So I'm still the mom, even though I am a person and they are persons. My son and my daughter are people, um, adults. I still help the house to flow because both of my kids work outside of the house and we share one car and uh, I still am the mom. I still help with the meals and the lunches because it works for us. It flows. Um, you know, everyone's going to have an opinion and I'm just going to say it, that old saying, opinions are like assholes and everyone has one. Keep your opinions to yourself. This works for us and uh, I help us get ready for the day. I still do laundry for everybody and these guys go out and they earn a living and make money for our family. And so I'm still the mom and I still take care of them. And so when I get up in the mornings, depending on what hour, I turn on the fireplace or hmm, starts to get light outside. I turn on the forest sounds with the chirping birds, water flowing. I feel it's very spiritual and it's awesome. And right outside my kitchen window, thank you God for blessing me with a kitchen window. Oh, and everybody else, please. Get a pad and paper out in the morning when you make your coffee, when you make your tea, have your water, your smoothie, whatever it is you do. 
write thank you notes to Jesus and the universe for what you have. Every morning, deep within my heart, I've got a window. I've got two kitchen windows. God bless my soul. I can look outside. I've got a humming, two hummingbird feeders and I've got a bird feeder hanging from the tree. And yes, the squirrels and the blue jays take over. But even that is awesome and relaxing to just watch. That's a good way to enjoy your first cup of whatever it is, whatever you do, and get your day going watching nature. It's, it's incredible. And if you can't, you know, if you're not standing at your window, step outside, put on your robe, and just stand on the ground and imagine the roots coming from your feet and going straight through and connecting you, grounding yourself and just stand there and feel, feel nature, the air, the birds, and just feel it. It's awesome. It's the most incredibly liberating thing. But, um, <clears throat> Yeah, there's just something to be said. There's something to be said for a wonderful relationship with another person. And there's also something to be said for hearing your own voice, doing things your way, making your heart sing, uh, feeding your soul according to you, according to your, um, the beat of your drum. You know, your own drum beat. Do things your way. And Abraham Hicks, find the happy in every situation. I know as a little girl, my mother and I kind of shared the same life when we grew up. Uh, my marriage could have ended a lot earlier had I not. I, I stuck in there. I, I held on because of my kids. Um, because I, I, I believed in my marriage. I, I wanted it to work so badly. I begged him to, um, I said, even if not for yourself, for the children's sake, let's go and talk to somebody and let's, let's try to get back to seeing the beauty and, and the magic and let's work on it. And no, he, he had other ideas. He simply did not feel like he needed to be helped. He did not need to, whatever. He didn't want to do it. So I finally cried uncle and, and uh, set the wheels in motion and got out of it. But oh, those were some of the most unhappy uh, times of my life there at the end. But when my children were little, oh my God, some of the most awesome, happy moments of my entire life. The most incredible thing I've ever done was have my kids. The most spectacular, incredible thing is to be a mother. And so to this day, I'm still the mother and I still uh, <clears throat> get things ready for these guys and help things flow. And it does my heart good when my daughter or my son cooks. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, another thing, uh, being your own force of nature, what I've learned at this stage of my life and that the oils have helped do for me. I, 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 I owe all of this to the, my oils because my oils got me back to simple and natural. And what that means is these oils that I use, they're young living essential oils. They are pure and natural. So say I'll just pull out lavender because everybody knows lavender. Open up the bottle of lavender and what do you get? Pure lavender. There's nothing added. There's no fragrance but the real fragrance of lavender itself. These are absolutely pure and natural, distilled. Every single solitary bit of the plant is used to make it. <clears throat> 
And so you can take that lavender and just literally drop it into your hands, open hands and pulling it up to your, your nose and just sniffing it. Just inhale lavender. Oh my God, that, that is awesome. But what I'm trying to say, how do I put into words simply? It's not easy, but these oils brought me back to nitty gritty to basics back to all that I need and all that any of us need. And that is habits are not needs. Um, all this stuff that you see. So another reason I don't turn on the TV, it's littered with these awful commercials about crap on your store shelves. Um, or the latest and greatest thing in uh, the media, social. And that's a problem with our phones because we are glued to our phones. And when I tell you, don't pick up your phone, go with the flow of your heart and go with what your heart is telling you. And that's essentially, Young Living Essential Oils, what these oils essentially do is uh, keep you grounded and help you to realize that you don't need anything. You don't, you just don't need anything that is man-made for all intents and purposes. Um, I don't watch the news. I don't watch stupid sitcoms because nobody will ever be Seinfeld. I'm sorry but everybody is trying and they're not succeeding. So it just mm, doesn't work. <clears throat> and again, that's my opinion. <laughs> I don't need to repeat that saying. And furthermore, do not recommend you getting up first thing in the morning and turning on your TV, going on your phone, going on your computer, and looking for your answers when the answers are inside of you. Open your eyes, lay there for a few minutes, and thank Jesus. Thank God in the universe for your nice warm bed or wherever you happen to be. And thank God for another day. Thank Jesus for another day on this earth because we all have a chance to start over. We all have a chance to do something different and do something better. You're getting better. As Abraham says, you will never get it right and you will never get it done. So you might as well embrace what you have and plan to be happy. Find some happiness in what you have. But as I was saying about my mom growing up, I've gone all over the place. Sorry, not sorry. My mom and I kind of did the same thing. She got married when she was young. Uh, had children, but I, I waited, my husband and I waited and that was good for us. And I'm grateful for that, but we waited to have our kids, but, uh, we struggled because my dad was, uh, too young to be married. He was very immature and my mother had to raise all three of us and herself and our dog. And we had cats also. And, uh, she literally had two jobs, sometimes three, but that didn't last because that's difficult. You got to find time to be, and you can't be if you're burning the candle at both ends. It just will not work. And she'd come home and my sister would get on one of her feet and I would get on the other and we would rub her feet. And, oh, if only I'd had these oils then. But, uh, we struggled a lot. And I can remember there being a can of chili, a hot dog roll, and a piece of cheese. And us sitting around the table, there were four of us, and wondering what we were going to do. And I remembered we laughed. So somehow we found a happiness in that bleak <clears throat> situation. Forgive my the clearing of my throat. I've just had this 
nasty cold and it's finally gone away but it's left behind a lot of good stuff <clears throat> no you know I, I don't mean that seriously but anyhow we found the happiness in that situation and uh, these oils have done this for me they've gotten me down to brass tacks the nitty-gritty uh, black and white very simply put uh, they're very simple what's in the bottle of the oil you choose is what is written on the label lemongrass smells like lemongrass because that's exactly what it is lavender uh, peppermint um, the citrus fresh is my favorite I put it in my water every glass of water that I drink and I drink arrowhead water it is the only water out there that you can get right now that doesn't have fluoride in it fluoride is very bad do not allow anyone to tell you otherwise even dentists dentists are part of the system and they're brainwashed and they will tell you that you need fluoride no you don't fluoride calcifies your third eye which is the all-knowing and seeing that we are born with when we come to this earth and you calcify that and you're out of the loop and you're manipulated by the media and life around you and you start breaking the calcium from that third eye <clears throat> it's going to help you out immensely but this is what I give credit to my oils for it's like I tell my kids I grew up a Baptist I was raised a Baptist I believed in religion which now I know is man-made and I no longer believe or follow a dogma what whatever you call that a religion and I raised my kids that we all are like cars look at all the cars on the road there's so many cars and we're all driving to the same place the same place is whatever you want to call it that bright light the universe God it's all we're surrounded by the universe but that all knowing beam of light we all are different but we're all the same and we're all going to the same place and it's all within us and we are all connected well these oils have helped me to realize every day that habits are not needs I do not need the latest and greatest that's out there so therefore you know I don't watch TV we don't watch the news I no longer shop in Target for toxic chemicals to clean my home I uh, use oils and they've also helped me to become vegan uh, and my kids are both on their way my son still likes to go out and eat sushi and furthermore you can eat sushi without the seafood you know you can do that I believe you can eat the fake crab <clears throat> you know you don't have to but it, it, it just helps you to realize that we have gone as a race we have gone a little crazy with how we do things I, I really feel that we are coming back around that there are a lot of us keepers of the light light workers in the name of light we're all coming back to what is real and what is natural and we are leaving that um, forced into our heads I've, I, we're leaving it to the side because it, it's not real it doesn't work um, somebody telling you how to live what to do what to use and these oils are helping my family to keep it real we are being our own forces of nature and we are doing things to the beat of our own drum um, uh, no meat no dairy because 
animals have rights <clears throat> just as we do. We have no right to use them and abuse them for our own good or our own gain because it's not even good for us. And say the dairy industry, for instance, is awful as beautiful Joaquin Phoenix said so brilliantly um, in the news. Uh, you know, what we do to cows is unreal. I, I, I don't even like to think about it. It's, it's despicable. Um, but we're labeling people who can't handle dairy lactose intolerant. And I saw a wonderful t-shirt that said, suck your own titties. This milk comes from the cow to feed her babies. It's not for us to consume anyway. And I say, if you decide to go that route, then it's on you. You must realize you're taking something into your body that does not belong. And if you don't feel good, that's really too bad for you. So, oh gosh, I became a part of this oily community in August of 2017 and it opened up my eyes. It was like light bulb moments popping open everywhere and I realized that these things are from nature and and the thing is people and then people get a little silly and off the deep end and say well you're eating plants you're abusing plants well the difference is plants can grow back they regenerate from the earth animals lives do not they come back in other forms but that once that life is gone it's gone it's like people. Yes, we we reincarnate back in to, you know, other souls. Or I should say other bodies. Our souls come into other bodies. But plants regrow and animals do not. So you're better off when you realize you don't need animals to live. I say, look into their beautiful little eyes and, and look at the love that's coming from them. Um, you know, be at peace, allow them to be, allow them to be and stop abusing them for your own gain because it is a dead end street. And so we as a people have gone off the deep end. We're, we're a little bit ridiculous. I'd say we're a lot ridiculous. Anyhow, so we three in my little home are being our own forces of nature by using the Young Living Essential Oils. In turn, they have helped us to realize that we do not need animals. You know, we do not need to eat them to survive. And I've grown spiritually and emotionally and realized that the happiness I have comes from within me. It is not from an outside source. When my children are happy, I'm happy. When my animals are happy, I'm happy. I, I've just learned to tap in to my own heart and think about happy times in my life and milk them. Milk them for all they're worth and make up my mind. I mean, I'm human like we all are. And there's just some days where no matter what I do, it's not clicking. But I don't need to go out and abuse anything to make myself happy. I just need to get quiet. I need to go sit outside with my notebook or with my own thoughts and just start listening, start breathing in the nature and accepting all the natural good things 
and my life and thanking Jesus for my life and for the fact that I can look at the birds come and go eating the bird seed. Uh, enjoy it from my window when I have my coffee in the morning and another thing, sustainable coffee. I'm looking and I'm feeling like I have found one uh, and I'm gonna getting ready to order it. It's by Brewing Good and I heard of it from Jane Velez Mitchell and I thank her very much because not all coffees are created equal. Not all chocolate is created equal. So these oils have helped me to look outside and see what, I don't want to label things right or wrong, but what is, what doesn't feel right? What is being abused in order for me to be happy, to have what I do? If it doesn't look right and it doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. It probably isn't a good thing. So long story short, I credit these oils with helping me to step into my own force of nature. And every day I be my own force of nature. I don't eat meat. I don't take in dairy. And I'm finding ways to live in my body, in this body. My soul is living in this human body without these things that are from abuse, from violence, from hatred, from anger, from something absolutely horrible. I am not using to live my life. Now the electric car, that's going to come. But, you know, if we would all get with the program and realize that we all live under the same stars, under the same moon, under the same sun, and we should all be able to live sustainably. We all should be able to drive an electric car. We all should be able to have solar put on our homes because it's our sun. It doesn't belong to the ones with the most money. It's wrong. Somebody's making money off of you. There's, there's, everybody has a price. So the electric car will come. Um, <clears throat> the sustainable home, maybe not even in my lifetime, but I, I know what I have in my heart and my thoughts are good. So anyway, <laughs> this was a coming out of the shoot, shoot from my hip uh, podcast number two, be your own force of nature, uh, about being your own force of nature, living your best life from within. And the way I'm doing it is with my Young Living Essential Oils that have taught me that I don't need the toxic laden chemicals to live my life. I don't need the meat for my protein. I don't need the dairy for, you know, my coffee, my cereal, my butter, whatever. I don't, I don't need that. We are so as a race, so creative. And, and if you do go on to your Instagram and look at some of these vegan pages and get inspired, I follow two hands full of brilliant people and we all love and share ideas with each other. And since we can do that as a human race, you must open your eyes and look at what's being done around you and say, Hey man, if we can think outside the box and be this beautifully creative, what are you doing? What are you doing by going to the store and shopping around the walls? Because what are you going to find around the walls? Meat, dairy, um, well, you got your fruits and vegetables. And when you go up and down the aisles, that's where you get into trouble because you've got all kinds of chemically laden crap. But if you shop around the walls, you can find your vegan items, your plant-based items. People that are being creative and making our meats are beyond meat. The Impossible Burger, uh, the Miyoko's Butter. 
it's divine. Um, the diet cheese of the oatly milk, the soy milk at Trader Joe's is so good in your coffee. Um, I, I'm just giving credit to living well. And that goes to Young Living Essential Oils. And I'm moving forward. And I'm not going back because I'm not going backwards. I'm not going back there. I am moving forward. And when we as a people can be so creative, there's no reason to go and abuse, to take, to rip something away for your own gain that does not belong to you. And it doesn't look good and it certainly doesn't feel good. Just say no. <laughs> Be your own force of nature and rely on yourself. Go within and rely on yourself and love each other. And it's not easy. It isn't. Um, it's not easy with some people. <laughs> I, if, if I must be frank, and I, and I am, um, my former husband, I, I'm getting there. I've come a very long way. Um, but there's times when I get frustrated and I feel hurt and disappointed, but realize that what did not feel good outweighed what felt good. And I had to let it go. I had to walk away from it and I'm going on 16 to 17, 17 to 18, 18 to 19, 19 to 20 will be four years this November that we're divorced. And all I can say is my heart is getting fuller. I'm getting a whole lot better um, with things, but uh, I am coming from that better place. Um, bear with me a second. I'm looking... Uh, mm, my daughter is at lunch. Ooh, it's one eleven, one one one. How cool is that? Um, she's got people that still live in third dimension, and it's hard. But every day, every day is an effort. Dear Abraham, you'll never get it right. You'll never get it done. You must make happy where you're at. Wake up in the morning, grab a hold of your pillow or whatever you have and say, thank you, Jesus, for another day, a day to make a difference, a day to be the change, be the difference in what you want and what you need to see in your choices, in your thoughts, in your actions, because energy spreads far and wide, people. And everything you put out comes back to you. So why not come from a good place? If you're angry, you're going to get back anger. Why not start with that good feeling and see where it takes you? And try not to do it all at once if you're not feeling it. Some mornings I get up and I feel like there's helium in my heart and I just can't get high enough. I can't get happy enough no matter what I think and no matter what I do. I can't stop being happy if my life depends on it. I can't. And why would you want to? You know, why, why would you want to? It's the best, most awesome feeling in the world. But those days when you're not quite there, that's when you get out your notebook and you write down your positive aspects, things that make you happy, things that you're grateful for. And get in the mood. Or make your happiness boards, your wish boards, uh, you know, your, your um, what do you call that, poster board. And start putting pictures or, you know, Pinterest. And yes, that's social media, but look at it. Use it to feed your heart and your soul. Look at pictures. And if you have to look at a bazillion pictures... To get there, I promise you, you will. <clears throat> or you stand outside in nature. Uh, the route that I used to take from where I used to live in a beautiful place, and I would drive my son to work, 
in the fall, the colors of the trees would outdo each other. Fall is like the spring. Um, the leaves on the trees are like flowers. The colors are insane. And by the time I would drop him off to work and then get back home, I would be in tears. And that is tears of joy because I was so happy with what I was looking at, what nature was giving me, the show that she was giving me. I was literally crying. There were times I was screaming after each tree that I saw. And what I've started doing is taking pictures of my favorite trees every year so that when the dry, hot months come, I can peruse my pictures and look at those, the foliage and, and look at the things in the fall and winter that make me so happy and make my heart sing and make me feel good. Oh, anyway, okay, so I guess I should go now and, um, you know, save something for next time, but to wish you all a beautiful, blessed day, peace, love, and light, and ask you to live from your heart space. It will help you to be, be your own force of nature in your thoughts, in your words, in your actions in your daily negotiations with your family, you know, with your friends, with the people that you know, help you to think before you speak, think before you do, and try to come from the place of love because you can't go wrong if you do. And you guys, you're going to get it back tenfold. Okay. Peace out. I love each and every one of you. And I hope you're enjoying this. I This is just starting. I, I intend to keep it up because it's good for my soul. I want to be, I live my life every day being the change by how I live and by how I think and by how I do. Be the change you need to see. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.